guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a trad goth makeup transformation. So I've got a little inspo photo on my phone. Um, if I remember, I will insert it, but I often say I'm going to add things and I don't really forget. So um, I'll show you a rough photo of what I'm doing. So it's just kind of like classic 80s trad goth makeup. And yeah, let's get on to the video. So the first thing I do before I add any like actual makeup is do a nice base. So I've got this primer here. I actually need to get some more primer because this one's just like a tiny little like travel one. Right. And then I'm going to rub that in. Uh, this primer is from Essence by the way. I can't remember how much it was. But I'm just going to rub that all in. And that's just going to make my base nice and sticky okay now i'm gonna do foundation now because i'm doing like a sort of try goth thing i use my white foundation this one is amazing i've been looking for a good white base for ages it's the revolution special effects one and it's like a white base um i think it's a halloween one but you know i use it all year round uh where's my beauty blender <laughs> Okay, then I just apply a little bit on my beauty blender. If you want it to be slightly like less harsh white, you can add a little bit of your foundation in, as long as it's like got the same base ingredients. I think this one is water base. Um, no, actually. But yeah, I'm just gonna blend this all in. And I am just going to blend that out, my little panics, until I look a little bit like Cast the Ghost or one of your favourite Adam's family members. Um, now I've done that, I'm going to add a little bit of warmer concealer just so I kind of have like a bit of contrast on my face. Um, the concealer I have is the Conceal and Define one by Revolution. This was like literally so cheap and it's such a good concealer. It's in shade C1. Normally I get the e.l.f. one. But they had like a really good sale on Revolution recently. So I picked up this one and I actually really like it. It's like a really good shade match for me. Right, so I'm going to blend that in. As you can see, it's a tiny bit darker than the white. But not like massively. So it just helps warm up um, your face a little bit. So that's my base. Um, and today I think I'm going to do like black contouring and stuff. Because that's kind of what my photo has. So I'm going to get my eyeshadow palette out. I always use this eyeshadow palette, you've probably seen it a hundred times before. It's the Varney Gregg um, one by Morphe. I love this palette, other than the fact it's like shatters and stuff. Okay, so I found this expired Amazon card. I just use like random things like this. And then I apply it like where it feels like it sits nicely, like curves into your face. And then set my cheeks in and do a nice thin line. Okay, the end's gone really bad. I'm just gonna blend that out quickly. Okay, and then as you can see, it is quite high, harsh right now. So I'm just gonna like dab my blender to make it a little bit less of a harsh line. And then I'm gonna repeat that on the other side. Hopefully I've got enough products on my brush. Okay, and then let's do the little blending out thing. This side went a little bit better, actually. But now I'm going to do my nose. Now, for my nose, I like to use my blender because it just helps, like, get into all the bits nicely. So I'm going to dip in the grey. I don't normally use the black for my nose because I don't like it to be too harsh. And I do it quite towards the top. So I'll add the little card just so you can see where I'm applying it see it that well on camera because the brightness with my ring light is quite high but you can see it in real life okay so next I'm gonna go on to the eyebrows now for the eyebrows um, I'm gonna do the pointed effect but I've obviously dyed a little bit on my eyebrow which means it's not as easy to do this because I'm having to draw on with like pink eyeshadow which is kind of annoying but we are going to do our best okay I am got eyeliner which I do for the little point um, and then the rest I fill in normally with like a black eyeshadow. So I need to decide where I want it. So I want it kind of coming like here. So if I draw a little dot. 
and then I want to line that up and then fill that in so I normally go not quite at the end and then just slowly start bringing that to a little point and then just fill her in. Also if you're wondering what eyeliner I'm using, I'm using the Lila Power One by Revolution. It's got this like little clicker end and I actually really like this eyeliner. The one that I normally use, this is my go-to one, is the Rimmel Wonder Ink, but it is quite expensive. It's like $7.99, whereas this one was like three quid. Um, but yeah, that's the one I normally use. And then I'm just gonna draw on the little point following the one I did on the other side. So the next thing I'm gonna do is the eyeshadow. I've got this big fluffy brush and I'm just gonna do like blacks and greys and I bring it up to the eyebrow, focusing it mostly in this area. So I'm gonna go in with hidden, sorry, I'm gonna go in with bra, which is a nice like pale gray shade. And I'm just going to put that all in my inner corner, bringing it up all the way into the eyebrow. That little middle section, you can bring it slightly further, but don't bring it all the way to the end and make sure it's going right up into the eyebrow. I'm gonna go in with the palest gray and then I'm gonna do just a little bit in the outer corner just to add some shine. And then with my brush, I'm just gonna go over in this sort of silvery color and do it all over my eye, like that white silver, because that's just gonna help blend all of this color together. I'm gonna do my eyeliner underneath. So a good little hack for this is like, stretch your eye like that way and then get the liner and drag it towards your nose. I'm not sure if you could see that very well, but like drag it like that towards your nose. And then you're gonna follow this hip and go straight, not curving it, all the way up into the top of your eye, like that. And then repeat that on the other side. And then what I do is I actually fill that in with white to make it like really stand out. What I actually do is use a cotton bud for this because it means you can really get in there and you're not gonna get like the brush in your eye. So I'm just gonna go into this white, which is called Inaudible Noise. I'm gonna pull my eye down just a little bit, so if you don't like eye pulling, look away now. Okay, as you can see, I have now filled in both of those bits, so I'm now going to do my eyeliner. I join it up from this bit at the bottom so it connects, and then I'm probably gonna go about to here and bring that down. So I'm just gonna show you what I do, because I know a lot of people struggle with the eyeliner. Right, so start here, and then just slowly drag and connect it. Because if you start going like from here, they slowly go up, it means you're in control of how much you want. So just slowly go up with that brush until you're at the point you want. I feel like that looks good. And then you're going to drag that and close your eye as you drag it. And then connect that right to the front. And then if you want it to be a little bit sharper, because mine's not very sharp, you can just drag that out and then start filling it in. Okay, and then I just wanna make sure that they match. Okay, this one needs to be a little bit thicker. Okay, they match. Okay, so in my reference photo, she's actually got black and gone underneath her eye. So she's gone here and then just really smudged out that corner here. And then I'm gonna take the black and I'm just gonna really emphasize this little bit in here, it's going to really like smoke it out and make it look really like defined. So I've added a little black tip on this side just because I feel like otherwise it doesn't look symmetrical. And now I'm going to do my mascara and my eyelashes. So I've got two packs of eyelashes, I've got natural ones and then like quite voluminous ones. I'm going to use the um, double layer ones from Primark, these are pounds. Um, because they're a little bit more voluminous than my other pair but firstly I'm going to do my mascara and I'm just going to coat all my eyelashes this mascara is amazing it's the sky high I think it's like the cosmic black one um, which is like their newest one and it's basically just like sky high mascara but like even more extreme which I love because I love a good extreme mascara so I'm gonna rip these off they're already pretty sticky to be fair and then add my glue 
little tip for applying eyelashes yeah get the band and then sort of like curve it like twist it because then it will sit on your eye shape better I normally don't have to cut my eyelashes because my eyes are pretty much the size of like all bands so I should probably wait till it's a bit more tacky but I'm just going to put it on now because um, I'm impatient don't follow my advice honestly so I'm just going to make sure that those all stuck down okay cool and then we're going to do the other eyelash okay that is everything now I'm going to add a little bit of powder onto my eyes just from where the products have fallen out I'm going to use this little elf one this is like a sort of white translucent powder I suppose and I'm going to put it on this little powder pot and place that all underneath which just helps with like the eyeshadow fall out and everything okay lipstick time so my lipstick's actually in this tote bag I believe yeah, so I've got this black one, and I think I'm going to do a little bit of this like deep red in the centre. So this is the black one I have, it's by Smashbox, it's like more of an expensive lipstick I suppose, but it's really good, it's really matte. So I'm going to start in the corner, and then I like I keep this way to be really, really round. Don't know why, I just feel like that looks best on me. Drag that down, and then I'm going to fill her in. Right, that's the lipstick. It's gonna wait that's dry for a minute. And then I'm going to go in with this like deep red shade. Um I'm just gonna apply a little bit of that in the middle. I don't think you're really gonna really see it much, but yeah. Okay, that kinda made no difference, but yeah, that's the lipstick. Let me just sharpen that up a little bit. I'm just going to apply that to my cheekbone and my nose and then like a little bit above my lip. Okay, that is the finished makeup, I think. Now I'm going to do my hair, my outfit. So a little tutorial on how I do this. I just brush everything out. I can do it in like more in-depth tutorial at some point. Um, I'm going to brush it all out. My hair is actually really, really knotty. I don't know why. It's like so knotty. Right, we're gonna brush that. In. Right, just brush out all of the knots. And now we're gonna add all the knots back in, basically. Right, so make sure my fringe is really nice and flat. And then starting at the root, I'm just gonna get my hairbrush and slowly go backwards. So just keep teasing everything up, and I like sort of press it with my hands and then just keep going in. Okay, volume. And now we're going to do the other side. First thing of my outfit is accessories. So the first accessories I'm going to add are these new earrings I got from Claire's yesterday. They're like these really cool barbed wire hoops. Okay, I've added that one and now I'm just going to add the other pair. These are actually the cutest earrings ever. Oh my god, I love them. They're so cute. Um, now I'm going to add a little bracelet that I got. It's this little one with like crosses. Okay, that's a little bit big. I'm going to make that a bit smaller. This is the bracelet. I think it's really, really cute. It's a little bit loose on me, but it doesn't really matter. And now we're going to go on to your make outfit. Now I want to wear this stripy shirt, but I don't know what I want to wear it with, so I just need to pick something to wear it with. I'm going to wear this leather skirt with it. I'm not sure if I'm going to wear like tights or fishnets yet. Um, maybe tights, because it might be a bit warmer. But I'm just going to play around, and then I'm going to show you what the outfit looks like on. Right, so sorry I'm filming in portrait mode, but this is the outfit of the day. We have boots from Primark, tights probably from Primark as well, to be honest. The skirt is from Primark. The top is from a charity shop in Dorset. My leather coat I thrifted from like a vintage store. My sunglasses from Claire's, my hairband all from Sheen. My necklaces are from Primark and this one is from Flying Tiber. And my earrings are from Claire's. So yeah, a really affordable, like high street fashion fit sort of thing. You could probably find like all of these to sort of make your own outfit like this. Oh, they don't like the thrifted bits, but you can find similar. This is just like a pinstripe top and a leather jacket. But yeah, this is the fit. 
thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys very, very soon.